Hallelujah. You are watching this video by Facebook and Twitter and streaming in on YouTube. We welcome you. We're honored to have you watching us live on your computer screen. Amen. 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 And if you need prayer, call that number at the bottom of your screen. We are a 24-hour prayer line. We will pray with you for your needs to be met. Because God wants to heal you, deliver you, and bless you. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. We got one other announcement. We're going to be going to, uh, we're going to be speaking at um, one of us, one of our uh, brethren in the Lord, um, Pastor Weekly's church on Tuesday. We've been invited out to speak um, with him, uh, speak uh, for him on Tuesday night at 7 p.m. And I'm sure he's going to be taping that, so be tuning in on Facebook. And uh, you'll get a, a message from yours truly. Amen. 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 I hope you all been streaming in and you saw our birthday party that we had for our new converts. Glory to God. We believe that it's supposed to be a big deal when that one come to the Lord. We're trying to encourage our young people. There's so many of them coming to the Lord and falling away. Because they feel like the church ain't really encouraging them. Or the church is not really behind them. And that's something that we're trying to do here at Giving Hands Ministries. Hallelujah. If this message has been a blessing to you, write me and tell me. You can write me at Giving Hands Ministries at Yahoo. Dot com. Amen. God bless you and God keep you. Our message today is a very important message that God dealt with me on uh, after I had an episode where I had to go to the emergency room and God began to deal with me on this because we have to learn that God wants us to live long and live strong. Amen. Glory to God. Many of us are not following God's plan as it relates to health and nutrition. Amen. We have an epidemic of obesity in the church. Come on, y'all, say amen. Amen. Don't look like I'm getting too many amens on that. Amen. We got an epidemic of obesity in the church. As you can see, I'm a pretty big fella. You're watching this by video, and but my aim is to drop this weight. Amen. Because this weight is an enemy amen. to the cross. Amen. What we put in our mouth is destroying us. Amen. Satan is destroying us through the mouth. And I'm going to give you some scriptural truths concerning that. I heard the church always say that man look on the outward appearance and God looks at the heart. Well, that's in relate to the intent and the will and the emotion. To do the will of God. But that don't mean God ignores. How you treat his temple. Oh yeah. Amen. Amen. Father we come to you now. And we thank you for your word. And we honor you today. And, and we just thank you for giving us this word. And Lord we ask you to word my mouth. Give me what to say. And what to speak. 
give us all an ear to hear and a heart to receive and a mind to do that we should be careful to give us praise and give you the praise and glory in Jesus' name. We ask you, thank God. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Amen. 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 Glory to God. We're getting excited about it. I'm, right, I'm excited to be back home standing behind my All right, mommy. Yeah. Because if it wasn't for the grace of God, I wouldn't be standing All here. All right, Lord. Have your way. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Bible declares in him we move and have our being. That's right. We live and exist because of God. And because we live and exist because of him, we have to take the responsibility of this temporal house that he's placed us in, and we have to treat this house right so he can use it to us to his glory. That's right. The Bible declares that he was we were created for his pleasure. All right, Lord, have your way. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Da -da -da -sha. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Yo, we are my high, yeah, high. Glory to God. So if we get our first scripture, it's coming from 1 Corinthians 6, 19 through 20. 6, 19 through 20. Amen. I hope you all have your Bibles today because we're going to be going from scripture to scripture. Glory to God. And the scripture tells us what? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. The temple is, he's saying your body is the house for the Holy Spirit. Which is in you. Which ye uh, have of God and ye have not your own. You don't, it's no more my body when you come to Christ. Amen. Your body belongs to God. Paul wrote, I beseech ye therefore, brethren. Glory to God. And we're going to read that next. But if we hear what we're saying in scripture where it says, You're not your own. For you were bought with the price. Therefore glorify God. In your body and in your spirit, which are God's. God said, I'm concerned not only for what your spirit man is doing, the inner person, but I'm concerned about what you're doing with your body. Oh, glory. Romans 12 and 1 says, And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God. Because of all he has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice. The kind he will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. Truly the way to worship him. I first notice we must give our whole person to the Lord. Which means that he is Lord all, over all aspects of our conduct, even eating. Amen. Whoa. What you say, Brother Pastor? You say he's, he's, he, he is Lord over our eating? All right, all right. What we put in our body, we should consider God. Because he's living here. And God don't want to take company with the enemy, Satan. Nor do he want to take company with sin. Nor do he want to take company with that. Alright. Glory to God. God told me the other day, he says, I was sitting at the table eating some barbecue chicken. And Lord knows how I look. Your face. 